x square minus y square equal to 16, x y equal to 15. We want to find x and y. So in first step, we use replacement. We divide x is not 0 because if x is 0, then this part product is 0 but not 15. So if we divide by x, the left hand side is y, right hand side is 15 over x. And if we replace it here, it will be x squared minus 15 over x. All squared equal to 16. So x squared minus 15 squared is 225 over x squared equal to 16. Now we multiply both sides by x squared to get rid of denominator. So it will be x to the 4 minus 225 equal to 16x squared. Now we take all things to the left hand side, x to the 4 minus 16x squared minus 225 equal to 0. So here I consider x squared equal to, for example, z. So z squared minus 16z minus 225 equal to 0. Now I use quadratic formula. Quadratic formula is what? If we have ax squared plus bx squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, then x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So here, z will be negative negative 16 plus minus square root of negative 16 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 225 all over qa which is 2 so it will be what if you divide by 2 it will be 8 plus minus if you take it inside 16 squared divided by 4 is 8 squared 64 plus 225 so let me erase this part it will be 8 plus minus you could also let me tell you something you could also here factorize it's 8 plus square root of 289. Okay, so it will be 8 plus minus 17. So the answer is 25 or 8 minus 17 is negative 9. Here you could factorize. You could say z plus 9, z minus 25. And then it will be exactly this. So it can be these numbers, but z was what? z was x squared. So it should be at least 0. We work in complex, in real numbers. So z25 is good, it's x squared, so x is plus minus 5. And y is what? It's 15 over x, so 15 over 5, 3, and plus minus 3. So our answers are x, y, equal to 5, 3, negative 5, negative 3, two answers. And let's check these two answers x squared minus y squared 25 minus 9 16 x y 15 okay you could also uh, try first one picking numbers and reach this answer but you should prove that there is no other answer except these answers but let me tell you if you know complex numbers or what let me just solve complex numbers for you if z equal to negative 9 it's x squared so x will be plus minus square root of negative 9 so it will be plus minus square root of negative 1 times 9. So it will be plus minus square root of negative 9, 1 times 3. In complex numbers, we call neg root negative 1 is i. So it will be plus minus 3i. Uh, y is 15 over x. It's 15 over plus minus 3i. Okay. And if you multiply by i, i, here it will be 15i. Um, because i squared is negative 1 because of this, well, denominator will be minus plus 3, okay? So it will be minus plus 5i. So in this case, x and y. If x is 3i, it will be negative 5i. If x is negative 3i, it will be plus 5i. Okay, we found two other answers that are not real numbers. So they are in complex numbers. So four answers in complex numbers, two answers in real numbers. If you had questions, send a message to my WhatsApp number. And please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. Thanks. Bye.